Well, by now you'll have seen the result, I'm sure. Klagsvig are out of the Champions League. They've played six individual Champions League matches this year, and before this season they'd only played eight in their entire history. It ended despite a night of heroics in Torsau and a viewing party in the Klagsvig Sports Hall for those who couldn't make it to the capital. In the first leg, Mulder made the trip across the North Sea and got the Arne Fredericksburg welcome. Two goals from the current Champions League top scorer. A goal from former Manchester United player Magnus Wolf Ikram gave the Norwegians hope before taking Klagsvig back to their place on the west coast, a place where they've only lost five times in three years in the league and unbeaten in their last seven Champions League games. Within 20 minutes, Christian Eriksen, no, not that one, had put Mulder on level terms in the tie overall. Klagswick couldn't get a crucial goal to draw level, but did manage to hold on for extra time. And with just 10 minutes until another penalty shootout, Martin Linus popped up to put Mulder in front for the first time and ultimately over the line. It was a cruel end to the Faroese fairy tale, and Klagswick just ran out of steam, but this was their fourth game in 13 days, two of which went to extra time. It's been an exhausting couple of weeks for them. Of course, their European adventure does not end here. There's a group stage waiting for them. Whether it's the Europa League or the Conference League depends very much on how they do in the playoff match against Sheriff Tiraspol, the team that have won 21 of the last 23 Moldovan championships, but famously put themselves on the map by beating Real Madrid a couple of years ago. Despite playing 71 different teams in Europe, they've never played a Faroese team. Actually, quick side note to say Sheriff have got just 12 countries left to play in and they'll have completed Europe. They may be out of the Champions League, but with a group stage to come, there's still a great deal of pride around for Klagswick. There's also a new kit for their upcoming European exploits, which sees their previous cluster of sponsors replaced with just one. JFK, a large fish factory in the town of Klagswick. UEFA have strict rules on shirt sponsorships once you get to a certain stage in a European competition and you're only allowed one sponsor on the front. So it's not Klagswick cashing in on a commemorative shirt or anything like that, it's just the rules. The unnecessary rules. So it's goodbye to WAG, Backerfrost, KSS, KBI, TTS and all the rest. Hello JFK. Note to self, here's probably a good time to mention that shirt sponsorship video you did. It was also the end of the line for B36, who unfortunately don't have the luxury of dropping into another competition. They fall out of Europe altogether, slain at the hands of Rijeka. The Croatians came to Torsalven and registered a 3-1 away win, but it was B36 who took the lead through Hannes Agnesson. But a little under an hour later, it was Rijeka taking a good lead back home. And in the second leg away in Croatia, B36 faced an uphill task and could not turn it round. 5-1 overall defeat, but did well to get to this stage. Unlucky B36, but can be proud of another terrific European run. Finally, thank you for 1,250 subscribers, we're now roughly the same size as Vest Manor, the 7th largest town in the Faroe Islands and the largest Faroese town without a football team. Well, once perhaps, but that's for another day. I'll be back in a couple of weeks once we know Klaxwig's group stage opponents and can do a good preview on them. Tak as ever and I'll see you next time.